Jojo has fun. Aww, Welcome the back. The final episode. The final episode of no Aviary way. Attorney. There have been twists. There have been turns. There have been birds. Birds. Bur- 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 birds. And a lion. <laughs> so Baron Rorgul is now on the witness stand. Jojo Cigar. has fun. Kill him. Legal cases. <laughs> it's like CSI Jojo has fun. <laughs> <clears throat> dun dun. Now, prosecutor, ask me about what I witnessed over the course of the evening. Uh, I would really not. Um, I'm a, I'm a just. I'll be in the bathroom. <laughs> he does. He looks like one of those lawyers that would be just be like, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Uh, Recess. Guys, ooh, I'm a, uh, is it hot in here? I'm sweating now. Uh, um, oh, okay. Baron Wargoyle. Um, on the um, n- none of the um. The initial dinner went magnificent, ye. That's when, not what I said. When the photographer arrived, Monsieur Green, we left to visit the garden. Then Catherine followed behind him moments later. Signor Portois, Monsieur Robinho, and myself were engaged in idle conversation. So we paid her no mind. Also because, you know, she's a woman. Why it's, would we even talk to her? Yeah, pff, doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm the lion's pride. <laughs> After the photographer had left, my housemaid left to go find my Monsieur Quigui and Dame Catalina. That would be what I heard her cry for help. Uh, thank you, Baron. Um, it's not what I asked. <laughs> I think we all know this story from there. Oh, we'd like to cross-examine the witness. Yeah, because the, um, the what's-her-face was in the photo. Mm-hmm. Oh! So she would have been out there to find her. Yeah. Kim, you fucking... You brilliant fucking fool. genius. God damn it. Do you yeah, doubt- actually, my dad's a lawyer, so like he goes down <laughs> in jeans. My dad works at Nintendo and, and he's, he's a, lawyer. a lawyer. Yeah. Uh, he's a lawyer at Nintendo. <laughs> oh, shit, He dog. got Mario guilt. He got Mario off on a murder charge. He's and great. got Luigi thrown in the sleigh. That's why Luigi was distant for so many years. He was in jail. Yeah, he was in jail. Do you doubt my integrity, Garchon? I'm just it to uncover the truth, Baron. Very well, then. Hit me with your best shot. <laughs> Fire away! Why don't you hit me with your best shot? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's established with absolute certainty that I, Barry Wogle, am an honest man. Catman. Catman. Meow. <laughs> meow, meow. Meow. The defense may proceed with the cross-examination. Nip, ting, ting. Ding. Round two. All right. Dinner went magnificently. Photographer arrived. Much of realistic visit the garden. Dan Kelly followed behind. My... Ousemaid. Byron Rogu, I have a couple of questions about your housemaid, Colleen Duout. Uh, does she smoke? Sure, why not? Yes, ask her because there's a cigarette Oh, butts. right. Because we don't want to call her out on being a thief. We don't want to get no, her in trouble. No, that's not really a question no. either. Does your housemaid smoke cigars? Uh, um, well, that question came out of him left field. Definitely not. Mademoiselle Duhart did test the smell of tobacco. What? That's still not real, man. <laughs> what? Or see? Where am I? Who are you? I gotta go. Putting together a bigger picture, are we? I think so. The pieces are slowly falling into place. Do I have another question about the housemaid? Uh, yeah. No. Well, no, because the only other one is about being a thief. Yeah, so maybe we Why, come... did we say? Did we tell her we were going to say that? Yeah, we said that we were going to keep her secret safe. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, but, it has, but it has no relevance <laughs> right now either. Yeah, because she. Okay, all right. I think it's the garden because then it's going to bring us to the cigar. The cigarette? Okay. Yeah. Bring right. me the cigar. We'll have to visit the. Oh, wait, or we could say, does Monsieur Green we smoke? That's true. Mm, yeah, okay. Let's see. Baron Rogue, you have some questions about Monsieur Green we. Ah, what's your show? Uh, what was oh, what your relation? What is your relation? Because we have to establish motive. Oh, correct. What was your relation? What was your relation to Monsieur Greenway prior to his demise? Go rest his soul. <laughs> we were business partners. Monsieur Greenway, Senor Poitras de Moal, and myself all owned a short share of an up-and-coming railroad company. You might have heard of it. Yeah. It's called Timmy the Train? It's called... Have you heard of Timmy the Train? He fell for me. <laughs> None of us are named Timmy, so it's a little bit confusing. Uh, excuse the crossness. But we all named the train, so... <laughs> we, we all... We crowdsourced the name. <laughs> excuse... Twainy McTwainerface. Twainerface. <laughs> Ex- excuse the crassness of this question, but that means that you and Senor Patois would now own after company each, correct? Correct. I suppose that's a slight glimmer of benefit that arose from this foul situation. But... 
Mind you, you must understand that Mr. Gwiwi and I were friends as much as we were business associates. I mourn the man's passing. Also, again, he was a frog. <laughs> I don't give a <laughs> shit about frogs. <laughs> of course. Do we have another question? What was he going frog, out yes, there? We do. Yeah, we see. Why was he going out there? Why did he visit the garden? Ding. Why did Monsieur Greenwee leave to visit the garden? I believe he wanted some fresh air. The steak did not sit well with him, I feel. Oh, I see. But that is quite coincidental timing, isn't it? How so? Well, Monsieur, Green uh, Monsieur <laughs> Greenwee fell sick and left the room just after the photographer arrived and just before the murder occurred. One might draw a link between the food and the sickness. Um, hold on, Falcon. Uh, surely you aren't suggesting that, um, Monsieur Gwenry's food, when we check out of this <laughs> now, <laughs> was food was poisoned in some way. Uh, was it? Uh. What was the uh, red Eddie? herring? Maybe she was trying to tear the bad food out of him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he was poisoned. I'm not. So, yeah, I'm not. No, I'm not, because there was hella blood. No, no, there is nothing to indicate poisoning. I just found the timing somewhat puzzling. There was nothing puzzling about it. Monsieur Greenwee always had a soft stomach. Yeah, it's really no surprise. It's a little foggy, I know. It's really no Except now it's pretty hard because of rigor mortis, but whatever. Uh, it was soft before it I was, got to it. It was, I mean, oh, when someone got to him, oh. <laughs> it's really no surprise. You couldn't keep down a good whale well steak. Do you have another question? There is no other question. So, no. no? It's so like the statement, left for the garden, the gar uh, dinner. Did we talk about the garden? We did not. Barrett, we saw the murder scene, your garden, for ourselves, before you kicked us out. <laughs> <laughs> What's with all the horses? Yeah, or, you, got a, you got a kink yeah, or something? Yeah, when was the last time you visited it? Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> we can find out about the, the, the cigar. Baron okay. Rokio, when was the last time you ventured into your own, your own garden? Oh, I can't get rich ass prick. As it happens, I have quite serious allergies. I haven't been in my garden for years, you stupid asshole. Oh, uh, you shouldn't have said that. Yeah, years, you say. Indeed. That's not right. That's not right. Yeah, you fucking liar. Baron, I do not wish to call you a liar, but liar. that claim does not hold up to scrutiny. Oh, and why is that, monsieur? Because we have odd evidence that you have visited the garden recently. Boulder Dash! Hobblesnatch! Snifflebooch! <laughs> My word is gold! Pickly whiskets! <laughs> Pickly whiskets! Snicker peanut butter! Baby baskets! Oh no! Oh no! Wait, does he have a little monocle on? Oh yeah. Is oh, that yeah, why he's squinting? <laughs> little squinting. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Sh sh show the court this show called Hard Evidence. That I have been in my garden. In oh, my I own will. own goddamn garden. Uh, ding. This was found in your garden. To be specific, it was found inside the fountain basin. Oh, shit. Right beside where the murder occurred. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a goal, but, um, the, um, could belong to him, anybody, or mind, uh... Prosecutor, please shut your motherfucking <laughs> mouth before I fucking shut it for you, mister. I can speak for myself. Dick. Okay, sorry, asshole. That is indeed the remnant of one of my cigars. But I must apologize, Monsieur Falcon, for I misunderstood your initial question. You see, prior to the banquet, I hadn't visited my own <laughs> garden in years. But naturally, after hearing the housemaids cry for help on the evening of the murder, I rushed outside. I was shocked and disgusted by what I saw. That must have been when I dropped my half-smoked cigar into the fountain basin. Hey, uh, see, Falcon? That's a perfectly reasonable explanation. I would find that believable if the cigar were casually discarded. But as it happened, the cigar butt was found in the fountain's upper basin, a location that could only be accessed with great inconvenience. I got very wet. He also <laughs> he does this thing <laughs> where he, he like... A little <laughs> the cigar butt was not dropped. It was deliberately hidden. Why not just put it back in his pocket That's and take it with him? a terrible hiding place. Yeah. There are a number of possible explanations. Number one. Maybe you're wrong. Number, number two. two. <laughs> maybe you're stupid. Maybe number three. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> this is maybe go fuck it. Number four. It's all a dream. <laughs> all there because I can only think of one. That is that you, Baron Rogio, deliberately hid your cigar butt to disguise your own illicit activities. 
did I know? And what was it activity we did you to be, mister? Cigar fucking. Cigar fucking. You want me to spell it out, Fawn? Let's put everything on the table. You, Baron Mort Rogel, murdered Monsieur uh, Grinwee. That is what you were trying to keep it in. Gasp. Direct we accusing me of murder. Touche. <laughs> How shamelessly brazen. That is a ludicrous accusation, Falcon. The Baron is an upstanding citizen of the highest order. Your allegation is baseless. You have no evidence, no uh, means, motive, or opportunity. No evidence. Think older, Monsieur Rabbington. I can't. <laughs> I know. Just <laughs> I'm maxed out. pretend with me. <laughs> Every piece of evidence points to Perrin Rogio as the prom suspect. You want the means? Baron certainly had the means. His Lawrence claws are as sharp as a surgeon's blades. Getting a frog belly would have been trivial to him. Even Monsieur Rabinio confessed just moments ago that he feared, quote, his claws. <sighs> Ridiculous! I would never threaten a man with violence. But a flog. But a flog, perhaps. <laughs> also, maybe <laughs> some boards. None of us. But yeah, he, he threatened Falcon with violence. Oh, he did. Threaten. He sure did. You want a motive? The Baron has at least ten thousand francs worth of motive. By removing a business partner, the Baron's share of his railway company increased from one third to one half. Great did motherfucker. <laughs> Wait, wait, no, one no, plus. No. I'm a lion. Hold on. This is preposterous. Wait. I had fun. The Baron had an opportunity. No, he crafted oh. the perfect opportunity. Son of a bitch. He arranged a small banquet with a very select number of guests. Select. He was aware of the missing silverware and yet served steak, a food item that necessitates good cutlery. Unless you're a lion. What? To bloody the hands of his guests, of course. That's very elaborate. What, unless they had brought their own silverware, then we'd be fucked. But anyways, then he ordered an easily influenced <laughs> photographer and staged a very specific picture in order to build his perfect alibi for himself. Photographing the guests in front of an endless clock to make for easy editing is quite an ingenious plan, it must be said. Ah. Clapping, clapping mm. for you. Mm. Prosecutor, are you just going to let this twandalous yarn go untested? Say something! Object! It, um, uh, <clears throat> oh, you pay for you, Swiss. Fuck you. After executing the murder, the Baron found himself still holding a single piece of incriminating evidence. His finished cigar. He should have chewed it up and swallowed it. <laughs> the Baron found himself holding a single piece of incriminating evidence. His long cock. I was going to say, his... <laughs> his swinging Johnson. He knew that leaving it at the crime scene would raise suspicion. What's this Johnson doing What's here? What's this Johnson here? But he didn't have the time to properly dispose of it. So out of desperation, he threw it into the fountain, out of sight of his guests and any snooping police. But not pooping police. But not pooping police who wanted to use the fountain for pooping. And we're like, someone already did, see? Yeah, oh. birds go to fountains to poop, it's fine. Yeah. I'll imagine the Baron was open to implicate Senior Portois de Miao, since that would ensure total control of his railway company. Alas, Dame Catalina was the first to happen upon the crime scene. So the Baron improvised. This is an outrage, Judge. I demand that you disbar this ranting lunatic. No, there is one out. There is only one outrage. Yeah. Oh shit, things My are getting face. serious. That oh, is damn. that a man like yourself is able to abuse his wealth <gasps> and status to frame an innocent girl for murder. <gasps> oh oh, oh shit. damn! Taking down the fucking rich and famous. Fucking hell. You're a bourgeoisie of the worst. Court. <laughs> How dare you, gosh John, to utter nerve! For a lying scumbag of a warrior to accuse a philanthropist like myself of something so heinous. I'm nothing like that fat cat bourgeoisie. I'm a respectable, hard-working capitalist. Twice no Kill capitalist. <laughs> <laughs> no. Guillotine. <laughs> Guillotine. <laughs> Guillotine. <laughs> you're a ruthless man who would slaughter a dear friend just to reap a few francs. You incredulous whelp. <laughs> I ought to gut you right here <gasps> and now like... Like, like a damn frog! Oh, you're so bad at this! Uh-oh. I mean... Oops. Toad? Uh... Fuck. I gotta pee. Uh... Call for recess. Uh, uh, yep, bye. Oh. <laughs> uh, could... Could someone please restrain the Baron? I got it! Get Here up. I come! Oh, this guy's gonna do it? That was you, That's pirate. you. No, this is you, Daniel. Oh, this is French... Oh, this is... I'm on a genre. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Let's go on, man. Do the concierge with all of you. Don't touch me, you filthy jackdaw. Damn. 
I can walk myself. Not for long. <laughs> then they both went to heaven. <laughs> this is quite a turn of events. Does the prosecution have anything to add? Um, well, in a manner of um, speaking, uh, well, <laughs> to be honest, um, <clears throat> no. <laughs> and I shall now confer with my members of the jury to come to a decision. I ask that the animals of the court please be patient in this time. Oh, so now they're animals and not people. Got it. Interesting cool. flip flop. Falcon, that was pretty incredible. Thank you. I just hope it was enough. What do you mean? You proved Catalin's innocence. We'll get a not guilty verdict for sure. Hmm. Sparrowson, I'll think you've misunderstood something important <gasps> about the justice system. Tell oh, no. him. What's, what's that? School is ass. I haven't proved anything. As lawyers, we cannot deal in proofs. It's just not possible. All we can do is organize the evidence and convincingly explain what it suggests. I have improved Dame Catalina's innocence. All I have done is demonstrate that there is a significant possibility that she is not guilty. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure I understand the difference. Well, you all... Because I got last place in my law school. I was going to say, you are quite dumb, so... I have a parade of a sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> we have reached a decision. In light of the recent revelations, it's clear that the error of judgment was made in the initial arrest. On that note, we unanimously find the defendant, Dame Catalina de Meow, to be not guilty. Yay! Yay! Ba 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 ba! Party not time! Guilty. Bird She's gonna be party. my girlfriend now. <laughs> Bird party! <laughs> Mr. Falcon, Petit Sparrowson, you did it. Yeah, I suppose we did, didn't we? It's just said so. <laughs> we should head back to the office so we could celebrate properly. Bird. Maybe a little bird anal. Let's <laughs> 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 get drunk and do some bird anal. <laughs> you ever had a three-way bird anal before? You're about to. <laughs> You're going to like it, I promise. You did it, Falcon. I can't take all the credit. This was a group achievement. I'm so proud of you both. Let's go get one bottle of wine and three of our <laughs> least dirty glasses. Or our dirtiest, yeah, whatever. Yeah, hell yeah, they're about to be dirty. You are amazing, Monsieur Falcon. Oh, it was nothing. Oh, she gave me a kiss. That's nice. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I very much, whoa, I very much uh -oh. like the way you beat the murder on the Baron. Wait. That, was an act of sheer genius. Wait, pinned? As in, wait. Well, I didn't pin anything. No, Spar no, of course not. <laughs> Sparrow and all just worked out unveiling the truth given the facts of the case. Monsieur Falcon, there is no need uh -oh. to play goy. The case is over. Uh oh. Play goy. Don't tell me you're actually being sincere. I'm completely lost. Uh oh. I uh, thought so the goody goody thing was an act, but uh, you actually don't know. All right, I'll spell it out for you. Uh oh. It was she wanted the money for her dad. <gasps> oh, this oh, fucking this asshole. This motherfucker right here. Oh, it was her, Danielle. Oh. Oh, shit. I saw him in the garden. All drunk and fed a rebel. Something, something. Something, something. He looked delicious. It was nothing personal, just business, you understand. What the fuck? Money, 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 well, bitches. Was... was that? That was why she mentioned, like, they were talking about business and I was uninterested. She actually isn't uninterested. That sly uh, little devil. Business? To increase my papa's share in twin company, of course. My papa always said that a drunk old frog was the weakest link. Your could. Fashion doesn't make any sense at all. I found Baron Rogue's cigar button in the garden. Oh, on put that there. I don't know why I'm kind of British. <laughs> I expected the police to find it, but I suppose that was putting too much faith in the brains of Paris finest. But Falcon proved Monsieur Rubio's photo was edited. It was edited. I wasn't in the picture because I was busy paying a visit to Monsieur Crenry in the garden. My papa knew I needed an alibi, so he ordered Monsieur Robinio to paint me over Baron Rougoy and to add ants to the clock. That's but that lazy artist didn't manage to finish altering either photograph by Trailby. 
It's a good thing that Monsieur Falcon was so imaginative, because that could have gone very bad. She played me. She played you like a fiddle. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, you guys stole the edited photograph. Oh, no. Oh, you dickheads. What's with the silence? You should both be proud. There aren't many lawyers in the whole of France who could have won on a case like this, even for a bourgeoisie giddy like me. <laughs> I think you should leave. <laughs> I think you should leave. So much best I think depression. We all should leave. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the payment for your services. Straight from my papa's pocket. Uh -huh. Well, adieu, Monsieur Facon. Adieu, petit sparson. Well, fuck. You fucking suckers. Falcon, what do we do now? Oops. God damn it. <laughs> Falcon. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh God. No. Oh, Jesus. We broke him. Oh, Kim, how much time is okay. left? Well, no, we're done. We, oh, sweet. We perfect, over. perfect timing almost. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Guys, you guys, this has been a bummer of a fucking guys, ending. We, you know what? She, she seemed like a nice lady. God damn she her. She probably, you know. <sighs> Didn't hurt anybody. We're going to get our revenge. Um, We're going to kill her. Well, this has been the first case, Act 1 of Aviary Attorney. We fucked it up. We fucked it up Wait, hard. We multiple cases? There's like yeah. different... Yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's, like, it's like Phoenix Wright in that way. Like the, the story continues. So this was just Act 1. What's the moral of the story, oh kids? Moral of the story is don't trust a cat. Don't fucking steal, don't you little shitheads. Don't trust, trust rich people. Yeah, that too. That too. And steal their stuff any chance you get. Yeah, just like that one giraffe yeah, lady. Fucking rob them. Yeah. So let us know if you guys want more of this. Uh, I like this game. Oh, my God. I had so much fun. Our voices, top notch. Top so notch. Good. So, <laughs> yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Let us know if you want more Aviary Attorney. Hopefully, you enjoy these episodes. And goodbye. Bye. Oh, and can oh. I just say, yeah. independent to anything that's going on in the world, mm -hmm. I'm really happy that we get to keep people company and that we can do this and keep ourselves company. Because it too. means a lot to me. Yeah. <laughs> and to me. No, uh, we hope that everyone who follows and listens to the show is uh, being safe mm -hmm. and um, using their best judgment and common sense. Mm -hmm. uh, and we, we love, it helps us yeah. knowing that you're there checking out us. Yeah. Like checking our stuff out and listening to the shows and watching the episodes. So, and I mean, I know how important, like, familiar shows and like voices are right now when there's a lot of anxiety yeah and so like i really appreciate the people who put content out there and i you know if i can do that for anybody else then i'm glad we enjoy the symbiotic relationship that we all tend to have yeah. but we will see you guys later we love you <laughs> bye okay, bye we love you okay bye joe joe loves people <laughs> ew gross <laughs>